friends, Natasha from Natasha Scrabble Corner, and today I'm coming to you with the finished projects. Actually, two finished projects. Um, they are inspired with the two different themes. One is Alice in Wonderland. Yay! Surprise. And uh, second one is um, challenge. It's a prompt uh, challenge that. Um, once in a while, uh, NSK and Friends, that's a closed um, group uh, on Facebook, uh, hosting um, several like events, and this is one of the um, events. So uh, this particular event was um, um, the first try uh, of um, making a prompt uh, via picture. So um, each a day of the week, um, seven prompts, um, they would give us the image. And whatever that image will say to me personally as a crafter and artist, uh, that I will supposed to use on my project. Okay, instead of uh, giving you specific, um, like, um, uh, cut the circle, you know, use the, the uh, um, paint, you know, um, uh, write the handwriting, you know, instead of those um, prompts, uh, that was the picture one. And uh, at the end of the video, I will um, create a slideshow for you and you will see an image of um, the prompt and uh, then uh, I took a picture of uh, the process how I um, made each tag and I decided to make two tags because two were better right <laughs> two were the better okay we'll start from um, uh, the orange one and this one is inspired actually uh, by um, um, appliques that I have in a store those are the um, sequence embroidered um, appliques and they are copper um, orange and I absolutely love those appliques. Uh, well, though do I have uh, them, um, NSK has them in pink, lavender, and uh, um, copper orange. Um, you will be able to see that I used in here like a little snippets of it, but in pink. That's uh, because I didn't have the orange one. I would have definitely used the orange one if I had in my personal stash. So um, let's um, let's get started. So this is the first um, tag, and this is uh, one of those Prima tags their uh, big ones um, let me maybe zoom in I'm not sure how to record it uh, so we can see everything uh, so you will be able to see the uh, um, you know each detail but I will walk you through um, a little elements here and there so the base I showed you it's a Prima uh, tag that's one of those jumbo tags <clears throat> Uh, this is the um, Iron On Cherry Blossom applique from NSK, uh, which is right now is out of stock, but will be um, when we're gonna go full blow season. <clears throat> this is the filigree again, NSK, some uh, cheesecloth. Um, let me remove this butterfly, it's on a clip so the person can undo it if uh, she desires to so um, the uh, cherry blossoms embroider uh, the uh, embroidered applique cherry blossoms I decorated with the um, little um, rosettes and uh, flowers uh, you can find similar products at NSK as well so um, in here I really like uh, the um, to give you a tip 
Um, I uh, used um, E6000 and of course it's really hard to apply filigree um, and E6000. Um, so I just use the um, the glitter, you know, the sparkle. So here's the image of Mad Hatter, which is going crooked, okay? I actually tried to put the crackle on him, but I guess it's a little old and it doesn't crackle. <laughs> so um, let's move up. So here he is. Behind him I created la several layers of appliques and what's not, you will see that in the pictures. Here is um, the flourish. Um, so I used the loopy loop florals, some um, tulips, some, um, uh, what do you call those? Um, I don't know. Uh, those are actually Prima and um, NSK carries those flowers. So, um, another one's that um, tool uh, spray um, and, um, you know, little tiny rosettes there. It's just glue strain. Um, this is the clock I had. It's um, clay or whatever, ceramic. Um, I had this um, as a clip. So I took um, the clipper off and just use it in here. Tuck some more cheesecloth for the, um, you know, for the um, fluffiness. Um, this was the key, um, and the key actually uh, in the challenge you were supposed to uh, use the um, crown. Well, the crown would not go with the mad hatter. I I and I didn't have any crowns handy but this key reminds me of royal crown so I reimagined it and I gave it to him as one of those walking sticks per se you know he has the key and walks you know working walking cane okay so on the bottom um, I used, um, this is actually the NSK gathered tool trim and this is NSK uh, floral um, applique trim so we have that in several colors and by accident um, when um, I pulled the string out of one piece and it untangled into this uh, mesh, just dangling mesh and I absolutely love that effect so um, yeah so I just un untangled and cut the string off and I have this beautiful two tails and I use um, again NSK um, rosettes and um, NSK uh, floral uh, leaf um, uh, tell me um, um, trim and uh, this is the bling from my stash we were supposed to um, dangle something uh, so I use this and uh, yeah so um, there it is um, big um, let me zoom out so I'm very happy with it and so dark it's really not that dark how it seems to you know on the camera in here so and um, I'm gonna tuck back in this butterfly in here so here it is lots of yumminess and craziness so I absolutely love him is it a string oh yeah glue string of course right on his face <laughs> So here it is, the Mad Hatter. Okay, so I'm gonna put that aside. And um, this is one of my favorite images. I'm trying to um, get off the glue strings in there. Sorry. OCD. <laughs> um, so here it is, this is ginormous um, tag looks like that this is one of those prima tags as well sorry for the glare 
so again you will be able to see the layers on the pictures following um, you know watching the slideshow so I will um, zoom in so we can see all in I'm going to zoom in so we can see all the details so um, on the top you can see this lace and this is like a wide lace so I put it all the way across and underneath there is another layer of cheesecloth um, so I just layered it um, like that above the um, if you can see right there I did some uh, mask stenciling with the um, um, modeling paste um, and Tim Holtz stencil, flourish stencil and I sprinkle some glitter and uh, the the tool is actually overlapping in here you see I can put my finger in there so um, then I created this corner with the um, cheesecloth and um, this is the actual applique floral uh, trim that NSK has and um, that's how that layered flower uh, because in a trim you bind several you know uh, individual flowers in a row and then you're gonna need to make your own flower so there is an example of how that flower can look um, in um, coffee brown um, I use a little tool for here then another layer of this um, sage um, color I really like that color and then another cheesecloth and I put some bling in here so yeah and in here I tucked in like a little organza flower and the cheesecloth just dangling so um, in here we were supposed to use the metal filigree so I just sewed it because it was brown and it had like a um, cameo center circle so I added some cheesecloth and uh, some rolled um, satin rosettes from NSK and uh, here she is um, our beautiful Alice I'm trying to get you some um, light on her face um, that's gonna happen. I already worked with this image. I really love it and um, she she wears a Victorian dress and she holds the rabbit there. So <clears throat> I really love that image. She is like a doll and Victorian so I really really like it. I made it for I made um, a wall hanging uh, for uh, Trisha, a little shabby chic. So yeah, that went to her. Um, so here I use again this image. I absolutely love it. So here's one of those crowns that we were supposed to uh, put in as for a challenge. So we're supposed to do like a f um, flowers, the crown, the laces. Um, here's the butterfly that was one of the requirements for the challenge so let me just slowly um, move you down the row okay so and we are coming to the lower part I'm very proud of this cluster of the flowers I mixed um, a lot of different things in here uh, this is the um, an escape uh, paper flowers. Uh, this is the bling that uh, I think was gifted to me by Trish, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that looks like hers. <laughs> um, and uh, those are the satin um, uh, rosebuds, um, and. Um, these flowers will be available when we are going to kick uh, in um, the um, full inventory in November, um, late October, November. So because NSK right now works in a summer mode, so we are on limited quantity of uh, our inventory. Okay, so this will be available, so you just keep um, 
your eyes and ears open follow us on the Facebook to know what's uh, getting back in stock and what's not so anyway the loops um, and those sprays this is my stash this is an escape product and on the bottom in here all oh, this tool flowers um, I purchased it a while ago uh, at the um, wedding department at um, Hobby Lobby so I had um, those in my stash um, here is this um, um, leaf trim again because um, it goes as a pair both tags and I want them to correspond you know that they will um, in order to combine two different things like in, in a project when you're making for someone just use at least a couple similar elements and that will all tie in together even if it's like different color group or anything so it's it's really um, uh, not the color that ties in it's the items that time time them in so this leaf um, you know trim will tie in with another that um, um, this is an escape tool trim again it will tie in with the other tool trim on the other tag rosette trim so similarity um, that's what you know keeps the uh, composition all um, going so um, let me pull in on the bottom there I have an applique right there that actually comes on on the other side and some of the flowers that were um, you know overflowed in here I uh, put some satin um, rosettes here and there and I actually broke the bank and went into my shop and pulled out this um, glazed clock for the requirements because we need to put the clock um, in the uh, in the project and uh, this is one of those wide really wide um, layered um, tool um, um, laces from NSK and I do believe we still have a little bit of white and black available but uh, yeah this is like this is uh, my hand white this is long trim and it's double layered and it has this beautiful uh, print on the bottom so it's really really cute so um, anyway um, so let me zoom out I think I showed you all the details let me bring them um, both together so you see that um, I'm what I what I was um, um, saying it's the similarity in the project the cheesecloth uh, tying them together this um, flowers the two flowers tying them together although they're different colors this trim and this kind of like a bottom decoration cut off per se yes and the flower you know the uh, floral trims so basically you know just few elements that you can um, use to uh, blend in your uh, work uh, just yeah, a couple tips on that so I'm very proud of what um, I see here so it's gonna go uh, to the lucky recipient hopefully she's not picking and watching but if not uh, oh well <laughs> so sorry for the lighting it's kind of late I just had to record it uh, stay tuned for this slideshow and see how I've done with the challenge all right so leave me your comment and let me know what